What's up, guys? It's Chad Lances. I just want to talk to you um, about just my thoughts about challenge mode for War Priest. And before you're like, oh my god, this guy's going to be super negative about it or like overly positive about it, it's going to be neither. Let's be real. Um, but first, I do want to express to you that this is completely just my opinions about it. Let's not take this as fact because I don't know like the best thing for the Destiny community. It's like that. That's Bungie's job. What my job is is being a gamer, and I just want to share with you my thoughts as a gamer of what I would want from the game is all. Um, so with that said, the Warpriest Challenge seemed way freaking easy, dude. Like, alright, yes, uh, I would consider myself to be a top tier player, and I would consider the majority of my community to be above average players, and I have the privilege and, like, I'm definitely blessed to be able to play with the amount of people I get to play with um, in my community and just kind of not really breeze through hard mode with them and stuff, but it's definitely not like we can't beat it, you know? So, with that said, uh, my perspective is probably a little skewed above the average player for Destiny because I'm just very blessed and privileged. Um, not really privileged, just blessed, dude. I'm just freaking blessed, man, um, for my community and just people I can play with. And um, I'm also, you know, did my best to be good at the game, you know? So, there you go. And what I saw from, uh, not Deej, my god, from Bungie, uh, I guess kind of from Deej too, but really Bungie, what they really promised was like yeah it's gonna be challenge mode it's gonna be another tier added to uh the difficulties for the raid and it's gonna be a lot harder than even hard mode for the raid you know it's gonna be that third level of difficulty and they like boasted it to be this hard difficult task um so we're like all right now this is gonna be insane you know like we're gonna have to really bust our butts to try to freaking beat this thing and it comes out out of nowhere with no warning, so I had to go on like no sleep because I didn't know to not schedule a meeting, uh, an appointment, um, really early, early the next day. And because I'm not responsible very much, I kind of just stood up and did the challenge mode immediately at reset 4 a.m. my time because it's East Coast. So that was exciting. <laughs> but yeah, so luckily it was fast, so I could still get a pretty good amount of sleep from that night. Um, but that's the thing. It was it was fast, man. It was very fast. We beat the actual War Priest fight in about five minutes or less because we literally did it in two rotations because that's like a standard for our team. And the challenge was to have only one aura holder. Um, not aura, one aura. That's the exact opposite of the challenge. The challenge is to make sure that anybody who has aura cannot hold the aura a second time. So basically, I grab Aura first because I'm pretty good at holding Aura, not dying from it, and then also doing a pretty good amount of damage to War Priest at the same time. So we get a really good solid first rotation in. So I usually get first Aura pretty much all the time, especially when I carry viewers through. And then the second Aura, I just let somebody else do it. It's pretty simple as that. In fact, when we did it on this footage of us doing it for the first time, um, the guy who took the Aura the second time never has taken the Aura ever before. It was his first time ever obtaining the Aura in War Priest. Did it in hard mode for the challenge, and we beat it first, like, the first try that he took the aura. Like, what? That's a challenge? He did it first try? Like, <laughs> what the heck, dude? And that's, like, a standard thing. So it didn't feel like anything different. Now, I do know, yes, Warpriest does seem to shoot faster, so it's a lot more dangerous because they have more shots at us. But we're pretty good at, like, you know, not dying instantly to his shots anyway. So we only came close to death this time instead. So... Yeah, I guess I can see that as being a challenge, but still, it's felt like another, another just orcs, not orcs, just felt like another war priest fight. Now, I do know, again, like I said, my perspective perspective is skewed because not everybody is as uh, blessed as I am with the opportunity that I have. Um, so the challenge difficulty of the war priest is slightly harder than regular war priest. That's awesome. Cool, man. Gotta make sure everybody trades their auras and he shoots a lot faster. Cool. That's definitely harder. I agree. Um, so what Bun what Bungie said was not a lie. It was harder than regular uh, War Priest, technically. Um, it just didn't really feel like it to me, is all. Um, but that's cool. What I think is really weird is the fact that with this Hor uh, War Priest challenge, it's a lot easier, um, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people can agree with me, it's a lot easier to do the War Priest challenge on hard mode than to do the regular version of hard mode Oryx fight. And the regular version of hard mode orcs fight, while that takes people forever, even with my like raid groups like that, we still have to do a couple tries sometimes. Um, that doesn't even guarantee you drops at all for loot. And even then, uh, it could be uh, like a 310 or something like that for hard mode, like a hero, you know? It just, it just felt weird that you guarantee two drops of 320 for doing something that's an easier task than another thing that doesn't even guarantee loot at all. And even then, it could be as low as 310. 
That's all I'm saying. It just felt weird, dude. Um, but I do know that or uh, Golgoth and Oryx are definitely expected to be harder challenges because those boss fights innately are harder anyway. So I'm still excited um, to have a harder challenge in the future. Um, and I'm cool with the War Priest challenge being as quote unquote easy as it was. Um, but it just was weird. The loot drop being the way it was is all. But it's still a little exciting. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm glad I was able to get it done. We beat it. And it was a lot of fun. Like, yeah, we got the emblem and calcified fragments and stuff like that. It was really cool. So it's fine. The challenge mode that difficult it was. It was just a little weird in my opinion for the drop value. But anyway, that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. My thoughts and opinions. Um, if you have any opinions, let me know in the comments. Please keep it negative. Or not negative. The opposite of that. Keep it not negative because... That doesn't really help anybody. Um, let's be real. Negativity doesn't solve anything. Let's just have positive criticism at the very worst. Or just positive reinforcement. But yeah, that's it for me. And until next time, citizens, thanks for watching.